Thank you. Tonight, the second Republican presidential debate on the Fox Business Network. Seven candidates on the stage in California taking questions about the border, fentanyl, and crime. And speaking on crime, a Florida governor, Ron DeSantis, defended his decision to remove two prosecutors from their offices because he says they were too lenient on criminals. In Florida, we back the blue. We support the men and women of law enforcement. They are keeping us safe. We have a 50-year low in the crime rate. And yes, when I had two progressive prosecutors that weren't following the law in Florida, I removed them from their post, and the people of Florida are safer as a result of it. And also tonight, entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy spoke about opioids and fentanyl use as drug overdoses are the leading cause of accidental death in the U.S. He says social media is playing a large part in children getting access to drugs. Many of them are getting it through social media. And this isn't a Republican point or a Democrat point. But if you're 16 years old or under, you should not be using an addictive social media product, period. Former President Donald Trump was not at that debate tonight. Instead, he spoke with former and current union members in the auto industry in Michigan amid their ongoing strike. Now, some people are criticizing Mr. Trump's visit because it was at a non-union company called Drake Enterprises. Before I stepped into the political arena seven years ago, I spent my whole life working alongside of Americans just like you. Now, I put everything on the line to fight for you. I've risked it all to defend the working class from the corrupt political class that has spent decades sucking the life, wealth, and blood out of this country. Mr. Trump's visit comes one day after President Biden became the first sitting U.S. president to join the picket line, also alongside UAW members in Michigan.